Hanna-Barbera presents Yogi, Spokes Bear for Earthquake Preparedness. Hey, if there's a quake, be prepared for safety's sake. <laughs> Right, Yogi. And being prepared means preparing for an earthquake before, during, and after it happens. Take it from the smarter than the average bear? That's good advice. And speaking of advice, to be quick safe, try you know who's preparing this kit. Right again, Yogi. That kit holds some of the bare necessities of being earthquake safe. Flashlight, transistor radio, extra batteries, fire extinguisher, whistle, First aid kit, tissues, large plastic bags, aluminum foil, blankets, canned or packaged foods and juices, bottled water, paper cups, plastic spoons, and special family needs should be included. And don't forget this, Mr. Narrator, a crescent wrench. Right on, Yogi. It's also important that parents locate and learn how to shut off the water, gas, and electricity in case of an emergency. Your friendly gas, water, or power company can assist you in this. Electricity can be switched off by either a fuse box or a circuit breaker. The gas shutoff valve is located on the inlet gas pipe entering the meter. Turn the slot valve a quarter turn so it runs crosswise on the pipe. The line is now closed. Although the main shutoff valve for water is out by the curb in a concrete box, you can shut the water off at the master valve, where it enters the house. And now that we're all prepared on the outside, let's check out the indoors. For safety in the home, things that could slide, crash, or fall should all be fixed to the floor or wall. Hey! Uh, yeah, uh, don't forget uh, a rope or leash to hold your pet. It's also very important that every family should have plans to evacuate and reunite in case they become separated during a quake. Uh, hey, how's about a two-sided window sign that alerts your neighbors that you're okay? Speaking of neighbors, Yogi, parents should get involved in a neighborhood safety watch program. Because, and I quote, with neighbor helping neighbor, a plan for preparedness saves lives and property. Now that you're prepared for before a quake, here's what to do during the shaking and the quaking. If indoors, get under a table with your head covered, or in a doorway with your head down and arms braced. Stay away from windows and mirrors fireplaces, bookcases, or tall cabinets. At school, when your teacher calls drop, get under your desk. Cover your head with your hands and arms. If you're outside during an earthquake, stay away from buildings. Avoid trees and stay clear of walls and power lines. And remember, during a quake, the best way to handle scared is to be prepared. Keep calm. Don't panic. After an earthquake, be prepared for some aftershocks. Don't be alarmed. It's nature's way of settling down. Now, here's some more tips for you. The after earthquake things to do. If you're at school and it's a major quake, stay there for safety's sake. Your teacher will take care of you until it's safe or until your parents come and get you. At home, listen to the radio for news reports. Use phones only for emergencies. And stay put. Check for safety. For fire hazards like downed utility lines or uh, damaged appliances. Check for gas leaks by smell. Not with a match. Use only bottled drinking water until tap water is safe to use. Speaking of safety, be sure to wear shoes, as Yogi's doing, to protect your bare feet. <laughs> Finally, to make sure nothing else is missing, make a handy home checklist. When you do, you know who will be smarter than your average be-prepared bear? Hey, you!